Hi there, Ron. It's currently the 28th of February, 2014. Meteorologist Robert Spetta here with you yet again on our tropical update. And uh, today, our area of low pressure, our tropical depression, uh, is uh, still not very pretty and not very organized. And I definitely, I feel like I put my foot in my mouth on this one, started talking about it a little bit too early, because it still continues to linger. Meteorologist Mike Gadcott put out his video last night and definitely he dove into the factors of climatology out here around the Guam area and how storm systems typically don't affect the islands in the month of March. And that's kind of what we're seeing here today. Now, do I think we're still going to get a tropical storm? Yes, a named storm system and effects on the island of Guam, highly likely. Is this going to run directly over the island? It seems less and less today, but you're still going to be seeing some uh, rough weather through the weekend and definitely some scattered showers. And the interaction with the northeast monsoon is going to continue to bring some gale force winds out here. Uh, max winds likely around tropical storm strength. I would still get ready uh, for these conditions uh, to really deteriorate by early parts of next week. So let's really talk about this storm system. You can see it on your screen and it has fired up a robust amount of convection uh, here on Friday and uh, is still continuing to organize. Very weak, albeit, and it's what a typical system is going to look like for the month of March. I mean, Guam typically doesn't get hit by systems this time of year because of this high pressure, which dominates uh, much of the area all the way from eastern parts of Japan down there towards the south. And you can see it there on your screen, that giant high. And the high pressure ridge pushes over towards the Philippines as well. So that usually keeps these systems at bay, too much drier inflow. And also that high is drifting south. And that is why the forecast has shifted a little bit today. And it looks like it's going to push towards the, well, towards the east of the uh, Guam and the Mariana Islands. And taking a look at the satellite imagery right now, you can see Guam off there towards the north, where your highest amount of that robust convection is down there towards the southeast. Low level circulation actually along the southeastern periphery of all that convection. And believe it or not, in the last uh, warning by the Japan Meteorological Agency, they actually are saying this is drifting uh, towards the east. Now, they still expect this to become a tropical storm in the next 24 hours. I actually expect it to become more than um, the bare minimum up to about 40 knots. So in the near future, I would not be surprised if they do upgrade this to tropical storm Faxi. Now, they have to upgrade it to tropical storm Faxi to, for it to become a named storm system. Remember, Japan Meteorological Agency is the official agency for the Western Pacific. The unofficial agency, but everybody still likes to use them, is the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. And they're also putting out an update on this, uh, stating that this storm system is now a tropical depression. They also expect it to become a tropical storm but and remain east of Guam. They're also putting out their five-day forecast, Vice JMA's uh, one day. But uh, with the position, this is moving farther east, staying towards east, very well likely. Now, look at the tropical storm strength wind field as this does push east of the Mariana Islands. It stays well offshore. That's true, and keep in mind that that likely is going to be the case. But what we are going to be seeing is that interaction with the northeast monsoon. So still expect these gale force winds and a few squalls to push on shore. That's the radar out of Guam at this time. You're already seeing a few of these showers come on shore. And already, actually, um, earlier on today, we did see uh, some uh, photos coming out of there. The high waves right near the immediate coastline. People reporting that uh, it definitely is uh, some foul weather that is being had. Uh, throughout the day here on your Thursday. And take a look at what else is going on right now. And actually, this is the current streamline analysis, that high-pressure ridge I'm talking about. But what I really want to show you is the model outlook. And let's go ahead and first show you what the GFS is going to be uh, calling here. Now, this is going through the day here on Friday. A storm system's down here towards the south in that core of where those tropical storm strength winds right here. But remember, there's that high pressure ridge off there towards the north. I just mentioned the second ago. Now, what's going to happen though is that high will interact with our low. It is going to be creating these gradient forced induced winds. So, um, saying that uh, no tropical storm strength winds or at least equivalent winds will occur on Guam very highly unlikely. Yesterday we were seeing winds up to about 48 kilometers per hour, so it was approaching uh, that threshold 
but uh, it's going to be more so due to that interaction. Let me go ahead and scroll up here and watch our storm system intensify. This is with the GFS model run, remember, and this has still been a very aggressive, but it just skirts Guam. That was with the 12 UTC run. We can even go ahead and show you the uh, latest, the 18, and it just kind of pushes there just towards the east. And you're still looking at, I mean, this is 40, 45 knot winds. That's still... Not very pleasant, not a beach going day, and definitely uh, something you want to let pass by Monday. Monday really looks like the day that it is going to be uh, some very foul weather. That's the GFS. We can compare it up with one of our other models. The ECMWF keeps it farther offshore, but still looking at some fairly gusty winds out here. Um, the Navgem as well. Uh, this is that model using by the United States Navy, the same uh, model and agency from the JTWC and they expected this just to move just towards the east of Guam. Still looking at some showers. Big thing uh, still also I think it's going to be the rain, how slow this is going to be moving. Uh, we just take a look at the overall precipitation through the coming days out here and this is just total accumulated precipitation. And look at these areas in the darker reds as we scroll ahead. I mean, that's indicating up to about two to 300 millimeters in the purples, actually, right there. Here, up to about 100 millimeters or even more into parts of Guam. So it is going to be some showers through Sunday and the Monday, really looking at the worst of it. Later on today, I'll put out a detailed forecast, my thoughts on it. The Guam National Weather Service, uh, actually, I just had their um, forecast up here just a second ago, and I'll put it on the screen, and we can just look at it because they are the official agency, and I'm just relaying some of their information uh, they do uh, say that this is still expected to move slowly westward tonight, even though moving east at this time. Uh, this was made last night, though. Periods of heavy showers and thunderstorms along uh, with strong winds that have affected the Mariana since Thursday are due to the shear line, that northeast monsoon that I was talking about, especially if the disturbance should track through Monday night. Looks like these winds could be picking up. But, um, yeah, it, it, they are still uncertain, and they said stay informed of this evolving weather situation at the bottom there. And I think that's the key thing. With the slow-moving storms, they tend to linger, and they're going to kind of move around a little bit. Uh, they, The forecast track tends to be rather uncertain. So, yeah, that is all for right, everybody. I meant to keep this a very short update, but uh, we're still talking about this storm system and definitely still want to watch out and see what happens. But right now, JDWC is warning on it. It is going to become a tropical storm, or at least is forecasted to, unless... There's any significant changes. So right now, uh, I am looking at uh, backside out here. And by Monday, uh, for those of you in Guam, it is going to be a uh, pretty rough day for those of you. So, yeah, that is all for right now, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, uh, please post them down there in the comment box below. I always appreciate your feedback. Always appreciate uh, if you do go check out the website and all the information we have there on this storm system. Also on our Facebook page, you can follow us at Westpac Weather. Please join the conversation also at storm2k.org. Continuing to uh, post information there as well. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Robert Spetta. Okay, yeah, I got all those uh, semantics out of the way. Stay safe out there, and thanks for watching.